and then turn and you turn and say right here John don't don't step towards me yet and just look at each other one two three four then come together come together and then Hello, my relatives. Guys, I'm just glad you make up. Baby came down so we can make up. Leech Lake Tribal College. Ani in Jamie Lee Staples and Dejna Claus, Makwa and Dudane, Gauz is Kwaj Me Kog, Indunjba, Edash, Gamis Kurwa Kukog, Inda. My name is Jamie Lee Staples. I'm from the Bear Clan. I'm from Leech Lake Reservation. I live in Cass Lake. I'm a first year travel college student. I am part of the Mikinaw program. Mikinaw stands for the path, and it's the student's path to retention, academic success and transfer to a four-year university. Um, Mikinaw is sponsored by the Arts and Humanities program, our department. Mikinaw will sponsor educational lectures every Thursday this spring. Today we are honored, extremely honored, to have Dr. Don Day here. He is the executive director at the American Indian Resource Center at Bemidji State University. He will be addressing the Red Road, the American Anishinaabe man's journey between two worlds. So please, let's welcome Dr. Don Day. Miigwech, miigwech, miigwech. There's three main, there's thousands of kinds of people that I met, but the three kinds that I meet most of all, the kind that make things happen, those people that watch things happen, and those people that don't know what happened. <laughs> We're not helpless pawns in a game of life, folks. We can decide where we want to be. So as we graduate from here, as we work from here, as we move on to the uh, whatever we're going to do, do try to walk the, the red road. It is not impossible. There's a lot of people here, especially at this tribal college, that can help you. You've got just some marvelous resources here. Aha, miu, miigwech. This is Mrs. Rochelle Johnson, Principal and Superintendent of the Pine Point School in Ponsford. Rochelle has a Master's of Science degree in a Master's of Science degree in Education from Bemidji State University. She is also an enrolled member of the Red Lake Nation, and today her topic is resiliency, a response to historical trauma. So please, let's welcome Superintendent Rochelle Johnson. What's interesting here is the resilient people, people who have good resiliency, um, have the ability to not only love, but have developed the ability to be loved. Isn't that one of the hardest things? You know, when you are surviving, when you are overcoming, when you have low self-esteem, when so much of your life ends up being shame-based or those things, the ability to be loved, I think, is absolutely, you know, we love, you know, I love you, I love you, I love you, you love your children, love your, you know, but boy, when somebody loves you back, isn't that tough to accept that and just, you know, so resilient people have learned how to be loved just as much as they've learned to be loving. Ani and Jackie, Indigenous Cause. The presentation today is sponsored by Mikana 2012. Mikana, Mikana means the path. Today's speaker is Jimmy Oxford, a second year student. At the end of his time at Tribal College, he will receive Associate of Science degree in Nash Natural Science. Jimmy is also a peer mentor of our Learning Center and the only male student in the Mikana class program. Jimmy will tell us his personal story about the alcohol abuse and his triumph over it. So please, let's welcome Jimmy Oxford. Ani and Kikanu, Amagani Doug, Ani and Ejai, Yaye, Jimmy and Digitikas, Nindu and Dem. Hello, how are you? I'm, I'm Jimmy Oxford and my clan is the bear. Okay, I'm here to talk about 
you know, my experiences with alcoholism and how I overcame this addiction. I was doing it unconsciously because I thought it was normal. This is, everything I was doing was normal. Drinking with my kids, I mean, we were just having fun. My parents did with me, my uncles did it with their kids, my cousins, everybody. Everybody was like son of reservation. And that's how I want to change it. I want, not only me though, I want, you know, I want to, I want everybody to change. I want to break this cycle on the reservation because our people can do so much more, so much more without this. I, I, know, I know they can. I know they can. Buju, Nashki, way we bring sick indigenous cause, Mangun Dudan. God's like a squad, Jimmy Cog and Dunjaba. I'd like to thank you all for coming today. The success of our students is paramount, paramount to the future of Leech Lake Nation. The sovereign nation is founded on several factors for us. The factors include the Ojibwe language, our own land base, our own history, and our own culture. Today's speaker is Mika Pacheco Northbird. Today, Mika will tell us her personal story and give testimony to the importance of culture in our lives. So, please welcome Mika Pacheco Northbird. Good afternoon. Makadei Ganu Nindigo Beju and Dudem, Mika Northbird and Dijna Kaz. Abawa Magad, Agwa Ching, Nimiwendam, Ayayeg, Oma Nungum. My name is Mika Northbird, and today I will be talking about how culture affects my family and my road to academic success. Um, I'd like to say a little bit about who I am and how I got here first. Um, I know both lives. I know a life without culture, and I also know a life with it. Uh, until I was six years old, I lived with my mother who had a very severe drug problem, and there was no culture there. There was no happiness for her. So um, shortly thereafter, I turned six. I went to live with my grandmother, who brought all the things that I needed with culture in, into my life. Can you really have culture without family? Or can you really have family without culture? How does culture affect my family and my road to academic success? It is my motivation. I returned to college to further my education and to improve my, my family's financial security. By being financially <coughs> secure, my family and I can now attend more cultural events, cultural gatherings. It is, it is one and the same. It turns out that education was the key to cultural freedom. And I found this poem on the internet by Lilena, and it's called Heart to Heart. Um, sometimes in this lifetime, we meet a special soul who lives with our very essence to almost overflow. We drink the cup of friendship, it tastes like ruby wine, and you know within your heart this means, this meeting was divine. Now, turn to the person on your right and tell them, ooh, you're special. Thank you, ooh. Now turn to the person on your left and shake their hands and tell them, Kishuei Min, I love you. Person on your left. <laughs> and now please, wild applause because you all passed the test and you're loved. Gawin Bukanazid, Ginita, Bishaganaman, Gego, Gushkin Dungin, Gego, Maui Kain, Banima Api, Jaminan, Inga, Bizamo Dee. Inga Bunanandam Dibishko Bidanakwak Abija Dibishko Wabanakwak Apachi Macha Guichi win Dibishko Mang Apane Ea. I am by your side like a loon, always nearby. Bewitch. This is Mikana 2012.
Leech Lake Tribal College provides quality higher education grounded in Anishinaabe values. Leech Lake Tribal College. Miigwech.